Uh, hi, I'm Michael Peterson. I'm a poet and writer based in Edinburgh. I also run an arts collective called Noi Riki, and we're currently sitting in the pleasant courtyard, which is spookily sunny on this April afternoon. But we're going to be back here on Wednesday the 15th of April, and I'll be supporting Holly McNish. So come along. When I supported Holly for the first time at Oranmore in Glasgow last year, I was astounded by the 95% female audience and I started questioning a lot of the concepts within my work. But then I took a surety in the fact that I think my mother had brought me up well and I went with it nonetheless. But to me, Holly isn't... Holly's one of the most important voices in poetry. In fact, no, I'll go one step further. Holly, Holly's one of our most important voices. And that's not necessarily voices in poetry or voices within feminism or voices within motherhood or voices within literature in general. She's just one of our most important voices and I don't think that has any other caveats attached to it. But yeah, I mean, Holly touches upon seriously kind of political issues of, of, of racism and debate, but there's no element of these poems being preachy at all in them. She turns these kind of big tangible issues into engaging oranges for everyone to kind of feast upon. And she just has this kind of enamoring presence from the second she walks off onto stage till the second she gets off. Plus, she's the first poet to have recorded her album at Abbey Road Studios. So I think that's kind of cool. Well, because people, people like boofies. They want a little bit of everything. Um, and kind of artistic collaborations are rife at the moment. There's even fractures that exist within poetry, whether you're a page poet or a performance poet, and same within the musical profession. But I, try, I get bored of answering that question, and I try not to get too involved in it, because everyone kind of finds what they're naturally good at. And these sort of mixed arts events just open up the palette as wide as possible to kind of rich artistic flavours and nourishment and even if something pops up that isn't exactly your field something else finds its way uh, into your spectrum soon after so I think we've got insatiable appetites for all sorts of international artistic cuisines we are the buffet attenders of the arts world well we did a show last year at the Pleasants uh, for the Pleasant Sessions. We did a big Noiriki show at that. But I kind of compared in it and introduced all the other performers and curated a fantastic lineup and it went off with a hoop. But it's time to step out from behind the curtain as the shadows of the compares and actually deliver a performance in my own town. <laughs> Thank you.